Hello everybody, welcome to online digital classes of class 9th. Today we are going to learn the poem written by Ravindranath Tagore which is taken from unit 6, Where the Mind is Without Fear. This is a poem written by Ravindranath Tagore during the time of independence when our country was fighting for freedom against British. So here he was very much moved with the obstacles or the problems which were faced by the people of our country. So in those days even the poets played a major role in motivating the freedom fighters to fight for the freedom. So from the book Geetanjali, poem 35 where the mind is without fear which was translated from Bengali language. Now let us look into the poem. Where the mind is without fear and head is held high, where knowledge is free, where world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of death habit, where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Let us have a brief look on the life history of Rabindranath Tagore. He was born in the year 1861. He was one of the best Indian writers. For the first time in the literature, our, being an Indian, he was given Nobel Prize in the year 1913 for the book Geetanjali, which was written and published in the year 1912. He was not only a poet, but he was a playwright, he was a painter, he was a musician. He wrote our country's national anthem Janaganamana and also the national anthem of Bangladesh. Now let us look into the poem where the mind is without fear. So in this poem Rabindranath Tagore was very much moved by the sufferings of his country people. During the time of freedom the harassment of the British was too severe and the people were unable to bear the pain and struggle during those days. He observed all the conditions and the situations of uh, his country people and he was moved where his pen started writing this poem. Let us have a clear explanation about this poem. Where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. Here the poet wanted his country people to be bold and brave and move forward for to face any of the situation during those days. He wanted his people to be forward to fight any of the obstacles. So in those days British people used to harass the country people in such a way that they used to fear to face them. So he wanted his people to be for bold and brave to step forward. Where knowledge is free, where world has not been broken into fragments by narrow domestic walls. Not only the harassment of British people, even in India, he observed rich people always used to treat the poor in a very inferior way. And even the higher community people used to treat the lower community people where they were called as untouchables. So he wanted all his people to be united. He, he never wanted his people to be separated due to these caste or maybe the religion or maybe the language obstacles. So when our country people get united, they, they get the strength to fight against the British. Where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of death habit. 
Here the poet wanted to explain his people to walk in the way of truth. He wanted each and every one to fight, to strive and to work hard towards the perfection. Poet wanted to work hard to reach the destination where success is only the aim to move forward. Where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action. Poet wanted everyone to think with a broad mind such that everyone could help each other and stretch their hands towards their thoughts and those thoughts will form in the form of action such that they can get united to struggle for the freedom. Into that heaven of freedom, my father let my country awake. So poet was pleading or praying God or his father to help each and every freedom fighter to get the success such that everyone feels that on this earth itself they can enjoy the heaven where everyone can live peacefully and their hearts be always pure, peaceful and happy. This is all about the poem. Thank you.